Hi. <laughs> How are you, my people? <laughs> so this is your married twin sister here, Bono. And today I am coming to share with you five things you do not carry to your husband's house. Okay. So these five things, I beg you by the, I don't know, I beseech you right i don't even know what to say but i just beg you uh, i tell god beg una don't send these five things to your husband's houses okay so if you are you know getting into marriage you're preparing doing this doing that the number one thing number one thing i have here my sister do away with all the torn panties ah you know there's no way i will mention all the things without bringing this people who know you know very well that these torn things i will always say them my sister, do away with all the torn panties, with all the worn out panties, okay? Anything that has hole in it that you know the hole wasn't created when you bought it, but created after you wore it after a time, please do away with it. Your underwears, you need to send new sets of underwears, okay? When I was getting married, it, I bought a um, new, like a dozen of panties, or they say dozen, I don't know, but I call it dozen. Dozen of beautiful, different kinds of underwears, okay? Both bras and, and, and panties, you know, and um, underwears, anything underwear. You have to save money to get these things, okay? It's very, very important. Can you just imagine if your husband had, you know, torn boxes and all those things in wearing it? Like, how do, would you see your husband? And don't forget that we look beautiful in what we wear in front of our husbands. So it's not a good idea to send things that are, especially your underwear, torn underwear. It speaks a lot about you. Your underwear speaks a lot about you, please. So sisters getting into marriage, I beg you, do away with all those torn underwear. It's not worth it. Don't carry infections to your husband's house. Please don't do that. Okay. The second thing I want to talk about is um, worn out shoes and dresses. If you haven't worn a dress in a year, okay, if you haven't worn a shoe in a year, don't carry it to your husband's house because it is likely, 100% likely that you will not wear that shoe, you will not wear that dress. I remember when I was um, getting married, I sorted my things out, okay, I sorted most of them out and I gave them to charities because I knew I will not wear these things and the two or three dresses that I decided to bring because they were cute, they were nice. I still do not wear them. I have to give them out. So any dress you know that you haven't worn in a year, shoes you've not worn in a year, it's likely that you will not wear them because once you get into your husband's house, there are going to be new set of dresses, new set of shoes, you know, <laughs> you know, new set of almost everything, okay? Because you're newly married and you need to look good when you're going out and even at home. So it's 100% or 2,000% 2, 2, right that you will not even put on those things okay so going into your husband's house anything you haven't worn in a year or a year and a half i bet you, you are likely not to wear it in your husband's house so it's good to send few things to your husband homes that are cute and you can wear every day then send a collax a collax of clothes and things you know you will never wear it's not worth it so that when you're going to your husband's house you say, hey the bride had a lot of things so the bride carried if you see her my sister take it from me you will not wear them i wish when i was coming to my husband's house i even brought lesser things seriously i wished i really wished it, it it was even a problem for me to carry them okay so sort out the things you mostly wear every day and occasionally just bring those ones and the shoes to work your bags to work it's enough i tell you it's enough okay i wouldn't have worried myself buying a whole lot of things if i knew it was going to be like this but once you're getting into marriage we all know you have that you know marriage uh, euphoria coming in and all that so it's okay so um the third thing you do not carry to your husband's house is liabilities Ah, yes, now I can't talk about the first two and not talk about liabilities. What are liabilities? Debts, bank loans, anything that is a liability. Any liability are things that, uh, um, you know, just cripple your finances. Or, right, yeah, cripple your finances. That's what I'm trying to say. So don't go to your husband's house with millions of debts, with thousands of naira or cities that you have owned from people you're owing people not one not two but four people five people ten people some people i know um during their wedding they call one or two people to get money to help with their finances but 
it doesn't mean okay that you will owe a lot of people what is it for oh i was i needed money to buy hair i needed money for this decoration you no know, the wedding decoration and after the wedding it's all about debt 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 i knew of somebody who got married that was last year the husband called another lady telling the lady that i just need to run away from the house to go and rest my head why because everything the lady wore on that day was debt and the money they even made from that wedding is not even enough to cover one expense. You know nowadays people don't go to weddings with money. They come to eat. You said you are getting married and you have called them to come. They are coming to eat and then they will go. They are coming to criticize and go. So if you are planning a wedding thinking that I'm going to make it big to get uh, what people will give me to pay, I tell you, it's not true. Okay? So that one, let's even leave it there. Now, you are owing a lot of people. You have bank loans. You have this. You have the, a whole lot is on your head. And you are carrying it to this man's house. Sister, do you want to kill the man financially? The first six months of marriage, do you want to destroy everything? Because people will be calling. Once you get married, people will be calling you. Hey, sister, the money you owe. Now you are married. Oh, I beg. Tell your husband to pay me. And every day, some people even go to the extent of calling the man. Your wife is owing me money. Please pay me. And all these things go on. So, sister, please... I don't know what you're going through right now. I don't know. But because you'll be getting married someday, live a clean life. Okay? Live a clean life. A debt-free life. A liability-free life. So that you, you don't put your husband in. Imagine if your husband was getting married to you and was owing this amount of money. Eh? How will you feel? How will you, the woman, feel? It's the same thing. How, the amount will feel bad. So please, liabilities anything liability don't carry it to your husband's house this is an advice from a sister okay so i want to also talk about items or gifts that links you to your ex sister i don't know what that item is i don't know whether it's a car it's an iphone <laughs> it's a fridge i don't know what item your ex got you maybe your husband doesn't know about it that this one, it was your ex that got it for you. But you, you know that it's your ex that got it. If you know that item is going to cause problem in your marriage, sister. Sister, I beg you in the name of God, leave it at home. Leave it, give it to your junior sister, your junior brother, your senior sister. Give it to a friend. Just give it to anybody you want to give it to. Don't carry that thing to your husband's house. And go and be, and go and be causing problems in your husband's house. Small thing, ah, this one, do you know it's my ex that got it for me? Do you know what he means to me? Who cares what he, if he meant a lot to you, why didn't you marry him? So please, as Christians, we do away with the old things. Things that don't benefit us. Things that don't, the Bible says that once we come to Christ, we are a new creation. Okay, anything about your ex, let it go. Okay, let it go. I don't know what it is, let it go. If your husband, they are coming to marry now, it's not in agreement with it. Sister, let it go. If you think that material thing is far more important than, than the wish or the, what your husband likes, then it means you're not ready for the marriage. Things that were given to you by your ex, please let them go. Let them go. A word to a wife is enough. If not one day, one day, you, I also, you will regret it. Let it go, okay? I don't know what it is, so, but sister, I said you should let it go. Let it go. <laughs> so the last thing I want to talk about is baggage from past relationships. The fifth point that women do not, women should not carry to their husband's houses: baggage, hmm? trouble, issues, whatever from your past relationship, mistrust, distrust, insecurities, whatever cheating, whatever issues you were having in your past relationship. Now you are going to get married. Don't ever compare your marriage now or your husband to be with your ex don't carry baggage from your ex from your past relationships to your marriage never never do that hey sister don't get married though and yeah don't don't get married don't even waste your time in that one you, you are going to do you are going to get married with past issues past relationship troubles abusive issues that you had in your past relationship you are carrying that fear you are carrying that violence you are hey build yourself if you have been through a past relationship work on yourself sister work on yourself and when you know that you are okay you are fine you are healed then you can move into a new relationship get married and have a very peaceful harmonious and a loving family and a loving life if you know that your past 
relationships you, you are still you have nightmares you think about them you take over your emotions you react in a way with your husband to be just because of what you're going through you're you are abuser you are planning you are you are you know because of past issues uh, past experiences you you're having some expectations or you are having some uh, mindset that if my husband don't know and do this what i would do to him hey sister you're not yet ready for the marriage you are not yet ready for the marriage. Every man is different. And if we're carrying past negative experiences from relation, past relationships, then there would, would never be good marriages. There will never be a, 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 a new beginnings. Okay? You need a new beginning. And God has given you one. So please, don't trouble that man. Okay? Don't trouble him. If you're not ready, just sit back in your father's house and work things out with yourself and God. But once you're ready and you're getting into this marriage, you are a new creation. Going into another new creation to create something beautiful. Okay? So, I have these five topics or these five um, items I talked about are great. If you like my message, if you like this content and you feel it will bless a sister out there, kindly share this. Um, video and gives us a thumb up you know and and comment okay and those of our sisters who are married kindly let us know the things you didn't carry to your husband's house so that the sisters who are preparing to get married you know they will learn from it you know I always love you I always love you people love you people love you people so bye and have a lovely day